Hello, and welcome back to At The Crossing Productions. Today's video is dedicated in honor of our fallen and living veterans, as well as the 41st President of the United States, George H.W. Bush. In today's video, I'm going to share my trip to Portland, Oregon, and seeing Union Pacific 4141 and Union Pacific 1943. 4141 is an EMDSD-70 ACE built for Union Pacific in 2005 and was given a special paint scheme for George H.W. Bush resembling the planes used as Air Force One. It was put in storage soon after, but was called to action after the death of H.W. Bush. 4141 pulled his casket with a special funeral train on December 6, 2018, and was then put on tour for Union Pacific employees alongside UP 1943. Union Pacific 1943 is an EMD SD-70AH, a variant of the EMD SD-70ACE that is weighted to increase tractive effort, hence the H. 1943 was built as Union Pacific 9026 and was unveiled in its new Armed Forces paint scheme in late 2017 in San Antonio, Texas. 1943 has since been on many tours and has ran excursions with the famous UP-844 steam locomotive and recently got paired with 4141 for its tour. I learned about these units coming to Portland very early on on the tour and made plans as far back as Christmas. When the day came, we drove the 150 or so miles to Portland to see 1943's nose in a shed. Eh, so much for good luck. But it would turn out luck was on our side. But before we look at that, let's first see some trains we saw in Horn Alley in Portland. The first train we saw was a four unit light power move in reverse northbound, the leader being an EMD SD-70M. <laughs> Secondly, a single UP SD-70 ACE in reverse light power came by northbound and we began to question our sanity. first power move, then wide, came back in reverse and headed south. We thought we were insane. Finally, a normal train showed up, a Union Pacific manifest with a fantastic K5HL on the front locomotive.
After all that, we headed back to check up on 1943 and 4141. As we were driving, a friend of ours called us and alerted us that 4141 and 1943 were out of the shed. Perfect. We arrived to see them switching and we proceeded to get this awesome view of the two units up close. <laughs> That's all for today's video. I'd like to thank all of the brave men and women who fight and fought for our country, and I'd like to thank George H.W. Bush for helping to make the world a better place. Goodbye, and remember, always look both ways at the crossing.